This course was and is presented as a two-day hands-on workshop to employees in California state government. The course was developed by Mike Hodge while teaching for the Los Rios College System. This material is presented as an example of converting an instructor-led course into an interactive online learning course. As such the material is chunked into modules for the learners. PowerPoint slides for the course are used to build the Captivate course. This is only Module 1. This slide depicts the relationship between objectives and outcomes. This course is divided into seven modules and is intended to be followed in a step-by-step -step manner. Each step provides information needed for successful completion of the course. In Module 1 we are concentrating on what the participant, you, are to learn as a result of completing the course. It is important that participants understand how information is processed. The forgetting curve provides an example of how information is retained in long-term memory in relationship to the amount of time that elapses between the initial exposure to information and time elapsed. In order to remember information over time it is important to regularly review the information. This graph illustrates how retention is helped by periodic review. You can help your learning in this module by tasking yourself with reviews based on the suggestions on the slide. You may want to review the contents of this course prior to going for an interview in the future. Watch this video of Thomas Frank explaining how to use spaced repetition to help you remember. Click on the link and learn more about Thomas Frank. So I think we can all agree that studying takes far, far too much time. So what I want to do in this video is show you guys how you can remember more of what you learn, even if you're... The course is intended to help you with problem solving in your daily work. To the extent you retain and practice the concepts, you will find your performance improved. This course has six learning objectives specific to complete its staff work. You will be quizzed on these objectives throughout the course. Obviously the sixth objective will be evaluated by your supervisor after you return to work. Congratulations on completing Module 1, you can now progress to Module 2.